all you cool cats and kittens, this is Mr. Guzman. This is Mr. Guzman's art studio. All you grandmas, grandpas, sheepishaws, hebahaws, we are ready to go. We have not been able to hang out very much uh, lately because of all this COVID-19, the coronavirus. Hopefully you are at home, not driving your parents crazy. You're washing up those hands, using hand sanitizer and soap, hot water, staying out of big crowds of people. Uh, doing your small part so that we can stop all these people getting sick, okay? But one of the cool things is we get to hang out here through my YouTube channel and, um, and any other which way that you're watching this. And by the way, to all my students at Williams Elementary in Gary, Indiana, Mr. Guzman loves you, Mr. Guzman misses you, okay? Make sure you understand that. We don't want to be at home. We want to be at school with you guys, okay? But we just can't right now. Um, this first video that we're doing here is for kindergarten, first, and second graders, all right? We're going to be doing an Easter basket with a big, awesome chocolate bunny right in the center of it, okay? We're going to have a bow up at the top. The, um, the chocolate bunny's head is going to be here, and then the basket is going to be down underneath it. And we're going to be focusing on one particular shape. Now, there's going to be lots of shapes being used in this drawing, but the one we're focusing on is called an oval. And I know that you can say oval. Okay, oval is shaped like this. Okay, some people call that a pancake shape, some people call that an egg shape. I just call it an oval. The technical term for it is an ellipse, but we're going to call it an oval today. Okay, the first thing we're going to do right here now, one thing I've been accused of before by my students in the first row is Mr. Guzman, you draw too fast. Okay, well, I do draw pretty fast sometimes. So if you see that Mr. Guzman's drawing too fast for you, all you have to do is pause that video and get caught up. You can even rewind. I bet my students at Williams wish they could pause me once in a while and rewind me a little bit once in a while so that I could re-explain uh, something that I've already done. So you're actually at an advantage now that you can pause video and rewind. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, all you need is a plain white sheet of paper. You could use the back of any uh, of any worksheet that you might have ever gotten before. If you don't have any plain white paper, any notebook paper would work just fine with or without the lines. I've got my boxes of crayons here. I've got my markers here, all kinds of stuff. Anything you want to use. If you just want to go with a pencil, that's fine. So again, this first video is for kindergarten, first and second. We're going to try and take it nice and slow so we can all get caught up. And then afterwards the is the time for the third fourth and fifth graders and they can take this drawing to an even further level but we're starting right now with k1 and 2 so here we go we're going to start right here in the middle of our paper with the first oval and let's see how many ovals we use by the end of this drawing we're going to start right here with a good sized oval not too big but it is going to be for the chocolate bunny's head okay so there's one oval for those of you keeping track all right Right in the center, we're going to do another oval that goes about like that. And that is going to be for his not east. That's going to be for his nose. And now it looks kind of like a donut. Okay, so if you're keeping track, we've got two ovals going already. All right. Next up, his eyes. His eyes are going to go right above that nose oval. And I'm going to do the eyes really simple like this. I'm going to bring one over like that. And then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to bring this one over like this. Okay, so those aren't ovals. They kind of look like ovals, but they're not. And we're going to go right inside here. There and there. So there's two more ovals. So I think we're at four right now. One big one, and then for the nose, and then those two small parts for the irises. The iris, remember, is the round colored part to our eye. We all have them, even chocolate bunnies. We'll go right here, and we're going to start off with a smile. And I'm going to bring this right on over. And there is the chocolate bunny's big old smile. Now, what's a chocolate bunny without big old teeth hanging out of his mouth, of course? So we've got to go ahead and give him his big old roundy teeth. And now we've got his face. Big old goofy face on him. So we're going to go ahead and get his big old orejas, his ears, the next part. And we'll go right up in the middle. And we're going to start with a shape that looks like a letter V. And it's kind of up over his head. It's kind of floating up over his head. We'll go up like that and then bring this over and down. That's the side of his ears. 
they like to, at the chocolate factory, make the chocolate bunny's ears all one piece so that they don't break off really easily. If you put up one ear over here and one ear over here as two separate pieces, they would break off too easily. So they like to combine it into one big ear that we divide into two parts. Um, we'll go ahead and there's an inside to the bunny's ears. And there are two more ovals right there. And by the way, I want to remind you, it is your right as an American kid to eat the ears first if you want to. All right. Next up, we're going to go ahead and get his arms out because he's got his arms out like he's ready to give a big old hug. We'll go out like this and like this. Okay. Now, I know that's a lot all at once, so I'm going to give you a second to get caught up right there. We'll go after we get these arms, we're going to go ahead and give him his big round belly. We'll go right here. And we'll go right here. All right. And there is his big belly. We're going to go ahead and give another oval right in the middle to show that the bunny's belly looks a little bit different than the rest of him. We'll also go ahead and give a couple more ovals. We'll go one there and one there for his little paws. And how's this one coming so far? How's this one coming so far? By the way, I wanted to mention two good friends of ours have birthdays this week. Stefania Tillich is having her golden birthday today. And our other good friend, Kieran Hollinger, is having his birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday to all of you. Any of you having birthdays, you let me know through YouTube and I will say your birthday when it comes time. We're going to go ahead and get the basket now. I'm going to start right here on the sides of the bunny's belly with a line over here and a line over here. Next, I need to go ahead and connect those two lines so I get the top of the opening of that basket. So I'm going to go right here and I will bring this around, swing it around and it ended up right back where it was, okay? That's the two, that's the opening to the top of that basket. Now we need to go ahead and get the sides to the basket. And they're just two straight lines. They're super easy. They're as easy as falling out of bed. Right there and right there, okay? Slowly starting to look like something. Now, if this part right here is curved, then you better believe the bottom of this had better be curved. That's a mistake students make sometimes, and it's a, it's a mistake I used to make a lot of the time. If I had, like maybe I was drawing a pop can or something, and I, want, I knew that it was flat on the bottom because it would sit on my table real nice, then I would go ahead and give it a flat bottom. Well, you know that that's not what that's supposed to look like. You are supposed to give that a rounded bottom like that, and then you're in business. We'll get rid of that because that's not helping us any. And we are moving on. Let's get some cool stuff in that basket, like more ovals, for those of you keeping track. All right, we'll go ahead and put another oval here. We'll put another oval here. And these are going to be Easter eggs. How many of you out there color Easter eggs with mom and dad? I know I always did. I know I always did. We'll go ahead and get some spots on one of these eggs. We'll go ahead and get some stripes on some of these eggs. We can even do smaller ovals inside here for our favorite, the jelly beans. Okay. I think this is coming along pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and way up at the top of our paper, way up at the top, over the ears, way up here, we're going to go with an, another oval. Man, I don't even know. I lost track of how many ovals we've done at this point. We're going to go ahead. That is the knot for the bow that is up at the top of our... Easter basket. So there is one part of that bow and I'll bring this over and I'll get the other part of that bow. That bow is big and it is out there. We'll go ahead and since it is a piece of ribbon, you've got to do that twice over here and that means you've got to do it twice over here. Some of you are thinking, Mr. Guzman, those look like hearts on their sides and you would not be wrong. They do look like hearts on their sides. Okay. Now remember, if I went too fast for anything, you can slow it down, you can pause it, you can rewind, say, I for, I didn't see how he got that knot, I didn't see how he did the pause, I didn't see how he did the ears. Go back and you can watch it again, no problem. I'm going to connect from the top of that, from that bow, I'm going to bring a line that comes all the way down to the sides of the basket. That's going to be that big cool handle that the Easter Bunny would hold on to. I'm going to grab this 
and in one motion, bring this all the way down to the side of the basket. Okay? That line I just did, I need to do that twice. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go, uh, do that twice. Okay? Now that, I need to do the same sort of thing over on this side. So from that knot, I'm going to go right here. And maybe that arm gets in the way. That's okay. Just pick up and drop it down on the other side. We have to do two. And now our basket has both sides to it, okay? So if you're in kindergarten or first or second grade, that's where the drawing part of this is going to stop. And we're going to swing over to my art studio desk here, and I'm going to show you how we can pump this up and get this finished for kindergarten, first, and second. So what I've got here is the same thing that we just drew. This is the exact same thing we just did. I did it in a purple marker, and I did that a little while ago, to, earlier today, all right? So we can get our crayons out. And I know you guys like to dump all your crayons out. I know we don't do that in the art classroom, but we're not in the art classroom right now. So if you want to dump your crayons out, you go right ahead. So I like to grab the brown, and we can get started on coloring up our chocolate bunny. Now, if you don't want your bunny to be a chocolate bunny, make it any color you'd like to, but... I've seen real bunnies. My favorite bunnies are always going to be chocolate bunnies. And we can get started right here, and we can start coloring this bunny any which way we want to. Remember, you don't have to press hard when you're using your crayons. And we're coloring, we're coloring, and now you can see... <clears throat> I can switch colors anytime I want. Maybe I want the basket to be purple. Maybe I want the eggs to be uh, orange. I can go with some spots. On these huevos, on these eggs. I can move on to maybe some purple, get some stripes going on these. Okay, and I can color these up any way I'd like to. All right, maybe the, the grass, you know, that, that scraggly grass that's inside an Easter basket. This might be my favorite part because inside here, we get to just scribble scrabble. Usually in the art classroom, Mr. Guzman doesn't like scribble scrabble, but in this case, you want it. Scribbling and scrabbling. I majored in both of those activities in college. And I can change it up. I did a light green first. Now I can change to a dark green. And I can go right over all that scribble scrabble with some dark green scribble scrabble and really make it look cool. Okay? You can color up the basket any way you want to. If you want to do some lines across here to show that you know it's a woven basket, you can do that. What I've got here is one that I finished and I colored it up. I did a pink bow at the top. And I gave him some pink embellishments on the insides of his ears and belly and that. We did the scribble scrabble for the, um, for the grass and we colored up that basket. So if you're in kindergarten or first or second, that might be where you want to stop. Go ahead and get that finished, get that colored up, and I think we're, uh, we're about there. So for kindergarten, first and second, I hope you had a good time with Mr. Guzman right there. Now if you're in third, fourth, or fifth, don't start coloring yours yet like the kindergartners, first or second graders did. We're going to add a whole lot more to this. So, All right. We'll be right back for third, fourth, and fifth.